knights and princes, pirates and cars, spaceships and spies and things like that. Tell us a story, one that is nice. Tell us, or we will kill you. Chapter 13, The Man in Red. No one knew who had written the note, and if they did, they would surely fall victim of the curse. No one knew what the curse was, but if they did, then they too would surely fall victim of the curse. Uh. The curse was death, but no one knew that at the time. And if they did, then they too would surely fall victim of the curse. I wish you'd fall victim of the curse, Darren. <laughs> With his freezing fingers, Rufus Hardenbach and Claude opened the clasp on the heavy leather-bound diary. Years of dust had gathered between the pages, which is odd because the book was closed where the dust couldn't get at it. Rufus could feel his heart beating faster as he began reading. January oh God, the this first. This is so boring. I sorry, I'm I'm wiping my eyes. It's so boring. Why don't we just pass up the proceedings, folks? Let's do my scary story, which some might say is dead spooky. Cue spooky music. Jeremy, was 57 when he died. No one knows how he died, or even if he died. But ever since they've seen him walking around. That's it. That's the end. What the, that was rubbish. Mine was a much better story. What are you talking about? Your story, Darren. Your story lacked both in grammar. Right. Well, maybe we should let the people of the internet decide. Are you sure that's wise? <laughs>